welcome back to my channel in smart coding in this short video i'm going to show you how to resolve a common error 500.19 that you used to get from your web server now if you've seen this error all of a sudden from wherever you have already deployed like you know your environment might be already working and all of a sudden one day this screws up and you know all your applications start showing up this 500.19 internal server error when i got this error i was really scratching my head and looking for a solution over the internet and i did not get a concrete solution anywhere so i decided to write this post so let me explain you how this has to be fixed and let's do one by one now if you see on this page um the error that i have got in one of my scenario was like it says cannot read configuration file due to insufficient permission now sometimes the errors are really misleading you might be really looking for permission issue whereas it is really not a permission issue so what i've done is in order to demonstrate this i have simulated the same scenario and then i've explained you how to resolve this here in this video i have created my virtual machine which is windows server 2016 and i have installed the web server in order to give a quick demo i have deployed a small application here and then I will try to open this and see how this works. So if I try to browse this, I will see this 500.19 internal server error, right? So this was not working. For example, let's open up. See, this is not working. I'm getting different error codes. This, this is the error code I'm getting. And even in the website, you might have seen the same error code. So there are many things that can go wrong, but one of the common thing that has gone wrong and for most of the people it has resolved the solution is so what happens is your web hosting which is installed on the web server has gone wrong and when this will go wrong is when a regular patch happens from the microsoft over the night or over a scheduled time that's where this happens so they override they update something else automatically and then it really screws up this so Let's see how to resolve this. So if you look at this website, if you go to the third solution, whereas I have been talking about installing the hosting bundle. So what this is, is basically the hosting bundle has to be installed. The .NET Core application has to be installed on the IIS in order for IIS to support the application. All what you need to do is click on this link, which will open up a page and then you can directly download the the direct link here the the dot net hosting windows exe file if you want to see various other things you can click on this link this download link and then it will it's going to show you various different version of hosting files right you know uh, patches and all the security patches you see a lot of information there so what i have done is i've come here and taken the latest one since it's a windows machine i have downloaded this one this is the direct link which you have seen here so in order to speed up this demo i will go to my virtual machine and i'm going to show you the file that i've downloaded i have copy pasted here like this is something that your server team will do if you're working in a company and you're facing this issue you can talk to them and then you install this file this is from microsoft and it's it's a web hosting file once we install this, see, you can see that all the runtime and all the available DLLs are getting installed. Installation is done. Now I will directly open up the, the page that we were earlier trying to open. Okay. Now we didn't get 500 error. Instead, we are seeing a different one, right? This is okay. So let's open up. All right. So the website loaded, right? your 500.19 error went off and to prove you that this is the problem if you go to programs add or remove programs and i'm going to uninstall the one that we just installed it now we have successfully uninstalled this file now if you come and try to browse the same one which loaded here like I'm going to refresh this page You see this you got the same error. So this is the proof that your web hosting installation has gone wrong during your update or the patch that happened on the server. Try this and let me know in the comment that it worked for you or not. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel. 
like it share it happy learning thank you